I want to tie a Willy Gun Samurai variant. So here I have uh, a bit of future fly tubing, cut at an angle, and then I've, I've burred the inner tube and slid it down the inside. So I'm going to put that onto my tube slide adapter and slide the wire through it. Release that. All right. Because it's a slightly longer tube and a bit more to work with, you can actually slide that back into the, the catching eye if you want. Tighten that down. I'm going to put a bit of super glue on my thread. Slide that down between the outer and the inner tube. And then wrap that on to start with. You can leave this as a plain plastic tube. What I'm going to do is I have a little adhesive lead strip. I'm going to place that on the underside of my hook. It's cut into or my tube. It's cut into a diamond shape. And wrap that on in there. And then. A little bit of super glue on that. There. That being on the underside will keep the fly swimming on an even keel and also give you a little bit more depth if you want because here we're using uh, a cone on this fly that has practically no weight. So the butt length of Mirage, put it into my thread at its midpoint, slide that down to the start of the tying point, a couple of turns, and then take your thread out of the road, put on a bit of varnish and wrap the tinsel into that. The Mirage, whenever you wrap it over a black tube takes on a beautiful sort of peacock iridescence to it. You can either let that dry or just wipe off the excess varnish. Body on this one, first part of the body is a holographic gold flat braid. So Lay that in, take it down to where your butt starts, and then wrap, slightly overlapping, and do say half to two thirds of the body in that gold braid. Tie it in, fold it back. to secure it. There. If you want, you can add a little dab of super glue onto that. First ball of the body is going to be a yellow synthetic dubbing. I blend these out of a variety of different fibers. You can also buy proprietary ones ready made up. So I'll wrap that on to make a ball. Fold those bits back. Now, that's the start of the body. Underwing on this, I want a few fibers of yard hair in white, so I'm going to use a uh, box here. Take a bunch of box, pull out the under fibers, and set that on to roughly twice the length or so of the tube. Tie it in. 
put it all fold back my mirage that I'd left from the pot. Cut those off the length I want the wing to be. I to secure in the uh, tie off butts on that, a little dab, super glue there. The main part of the wing is going to be black fox. This is a it's called Super Pro Fox, I think. So I'm going to take a bunch of that, separate it out, cut it off. I'm going to set that on to the top. I'm using my thumb, splay it out across the top of the underwing. blend. So do that on at the front of this one trend the idea is to make like a ball. So that's the orange portion. Then I want a red portion. Pull a bit of that out. Because you're tying a quite a loose and uh, a loose ball and it's on a bit of a slope, it tends to slip off. But if you have a couple of turns of super glued thread, that's less likely to happen. Create a red ball at the front. Rather than wrapping the last bit on, sort of loosening that out. Displays around it and then wrap back onto it, making like a false heckle. Now, I want to pick some of that out. This one I'm going to use a cock pheasant rump dyed black. So I'm going to find it by its tip and double the hackle and then tie in the tip, fold it back on itself.
a little bit of super glue, put on a couple of turns, and then wrap on the cock pheasant drum hackle. Tie over the base of it, one or two turns, fold it back on itself. of the hackle and for this one I'm using a gold hybrid sort of a comb or a turbo disc run the super glue around the head of it that fixes the head in and also allows you to put on the disc Force that back into it. And brush out the clay. If there's anything particularly straggly, just take it off. And now all that remains is the inner tube, even a couple of millimetres, and then flame that. And there you have it. That is a Willy Gun variant of a Samurai.